A very wealthy U.S. citizen is predicting that in 2011, we will witness the most important day in America in more than 50 years. He says it will change everything about our lives. The way you shop, travel, invest, educate your children, and even how you take care of your health and family. Now this man has made some outrageous predictions over the years, but the crazy part is he's usually right. You see, he predicted the collapse of GM, Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, and America's biggest mall owner, General Growth Properties, a few years ago. In fact, Baronis called his work a dire prophecy. Now, this has nothing to do with the stock market, but it could have a huge impact on almost every aspect of your life. And recently, he created a video, which you can watch online for free, detailing his biggest and most important prediction yet. And it's a real eye-opener. I can't stress this enough. You should at least watch this free video online today. He explains everything you need to know, including simple steps you can take to protect yourself. You can find the video at www endofamerica8.com Although this video may be offensive to some audiences, it's worth checking out. Again, that's www.endofamerica8.com Watch this free video at www.endofamerica8.com Are you still paying your credit cards and so-called bank loans thinking that you owe the money? Do you feel like it's your moral obligation but can't see an end in sight? Well, what if I told you that in truth? you don't owe a single penny, and that the banks know this and hope you don't find out. Here's where we come in. Free2Prosper.com specializes in a profound debt repudiation method which challenges the validity of your so-called debts, morally frees you from the burdens, and protects your property. Our system is often superior to settlement, bankruptcy, or consolidation, which often leave you in a worse situation. If you feel the moral obligation to take care of yourself and your family, then I urge you to consider taking action right now. The economy will not wait. If you want to know more so you can prosper through the economic collapse, all while staying honorable and true to yourself, then call 877-417-8393. That's 877-417-8393. Or visit freetoprosper.com right now. Make sure and listen to the P.A. Monsanto Show every Saturday at 8 p.m. In a world where corrupt oppressors and all oligarchs have seized control of the populations, total tyranny is amongst us. The burden of humanity rests on our shoulders. The only way out is to expose the Global Crime Syndicate, known as the New World Order. Together, we are all one. Together, we are. Intel Soldiers. The battle for free humanity ensues. Join us in the fight. The Intel Hub.com. We're back, folks. The number to call eight seven seven five nine eight eighty five forty nine. That's toll free. 646-727-3387. Anybody that doesn't uh that has that those, those unlimited minutes or long distance that wants to call that number, you can as well. But without further ado, it, it's the top of the hour. So here he is, the one and only John King with his King's Court. Johnny Boy, take it away. Thanks, Jim. Well, if you have not started to prepare, maybe now you should. The IMF is calling for a dollar replacement as the world reserve currency. In other words, they're wanting to dump the dollar. Can you say inflation? Now would be a good time to start because it's going to get to the point where it will be too late. 
As tomorrow brings another day and lovers around the world will celebrate Valentine's Day, that, however, is a day and a point of no return, a point spoken of by the web butt. This will continue to spread as Mideast puppet dictators falls like prostitutes' panties. The Middle East will be forced to submit to the New World Order under the guise of freedom. Nonetheless, freedom is the contagion. That is the key word. Its symptoms are high fever and a heavy itch to depose a, a corrupt politicians. The U.S. will be forced to at least publicly sit back as in the open its corrupt hands are tied as they can offer no public aid to their public or puppet dictators. The same treatment to Algeria and Yemen will be given as it was in Egypt. If the U.S. does interfere, the government will be looked upon as an illegitimate government. And, according to the web butt, look for Portugal. It will be facing default on its debt, and Ireland debt bonds will be no good, rated junk. The infection from the government and corporate corruption spreads, and the people will ride in the streets calling for the arrests of top officials. The contagion will spread further, and the UN will be looked upon for stability, but will offer none. The contagion will soon seem to be on all of the continents as the infection spreads, as the world government takes drastic actions. And I, let me repeat that. World government takes drastic actions to contain the infection as they cannot contain the contagion. April 1st will be a, will be a fool's day, but for sure, as many sleeping people... It will be a day of rude awakening as events unfold at a quickening pace. Joe, before I hand it off back to you, when we, before we went to break, we were talking about uh, other countries uh, falling, and uh, we were sure. talking before the show about Gaddafi talking to the Palestinians, asking them to revolt against uh, Israel, and it, it's a co isn't it a coincidence? That I said that all of these Middle East countries that are now uh, now going off, it's going to create a very thick atmosphere of U.S. Israeli hatred. This is going to be a hotbed and a breeding grounds for anti-U.S. Israeli sentiment over there. Well, I'm glad you brought that up, and let me let me just anybody that doesn't understand what's going on, this just came out on uh, Reuters, and I'll, I'll read you a little bit of it real quick. It says Palestinian refugees should capitalize on the wave of popular revolts in the Middle East by massing peacefully on the borders of Israel until it gives in to their demands. Libyan leader Muammar Gaddafi said on Sunday. Gaddafi is respected in many parts of the Arab world for his uncompromising criticism of Israel and Arab leaders who have dealings with the Jewish state. Though some people in the region dismiss his initiatives as unrealistic, he was giving his first major speech since a popular uprising in neighboring Egypt forced President Hosni Mubarak to resign, an event which electrified the Arab world and prompted speculation that other Arab governments could be toppled. Fleets of boats should take Palestinians and wait by the Palestinian shores until the problem is resolved, Gaddafi was shown saying on state television. This is a time of popular revolutions, and indeed it is. It says we need to create a problem for the world. This is not a declaration of war. This is a call for peace, he said in a speech given to Mark the, the birthday of the Prophet Muhammad, a holy day on the Islamic uh, calendar. He also says all Arab states would have which have relations with Israel are cowardly regimes. It's, um, it's certainly shaping up that way, John. And um, it's, it's funny how he says, you know, this is a call for peace. Uh, it reminds me of the uh, biblical prophecy when it says, you know, when they, call, when they say peace and safety, know now the end is here, you know. And, and if that is the way that they're calling it out, you know, peace and safety, it's a call for peace. It just kind of makes you wonder where are we in this in the in the series of events. Well, it also says that in the end days, the uh, the whole world will be against her and her, meaning Israel. And it certainly does seem to 
to be uh, pointing in that general direction. Well, Griff, what's your what do you think of your uh, buddy uh, Muammar Gaddafi <laughs> and what he said? Well, he's been interesting, uh, uh, he's interesting to me character. for the for the last hundred years. He's been there forever, it yeah. would seem. Yep. Uh, he must really be getting up in uh, in age now. Yeah, but he still looks now, good. He's still got the Jerry curl going. Good. Um, <laughs> now you must you must consider what I said some time ago. Sure. Israel stood between the United States and Russia with its scalar weapon system, protecting the United States, and very few people knew about that. Now there have been other events where Israel interceded to save the United States, and the people never knew about it. Never knew how close we came. Uh, in the last uh, 30 years, there were many incidents. We were on the edge. Now, if you if you attack Israel or you, you bring um, pressure on Israel, you remember some time ago, I, I tried to explain in an amateurish kind of way maybe, that the land the land of israel is part of the jewish dna you can't separate israel from the dna and the jews it is it is all one you are not going to voluntarily make the jewish people leave that land that's part of them it's part of their skin their body their mind it's all one and they have massive scalar weapon systems now, when they start turning it loose and, and other countries start turning it loose on them, we've got a problem. They can take the United States, every major city in the United States, out in one afternoon without even coming uh, on the shore. It's happening now. The earthquakes are starting to pick up again on the diagonal line over the hydro and uh, nuke power plants and also over Oak Ridge, Tennessee. They've uh, they subsided for some time. And now they're picking up in central Arkansas and east, slightly east of Oklahoma City in a, in a repetitive way and other places in the United States. I would worry about earthquakes in addition to weather control over the United States causing flood and, and famine and um, uh, damage to crops and, and so on. But you're not going to take Israel out without devastation everywhere. And that's what the crazy Arabs are going to try to do, you see. So that's that's my two cents on that. Do you do you think though, Griff, do you think it's an Arab problem or do you think it's an elitist problem? That's no, the question I, that I have. I don't know. I, it, it, it would seem that uh, the Arabs on the ground, they remind me very much of Klingons, the way they were. If you, you'll never forget that now, will you? No, you start you start thinking about it with the turbans. <laughs> They're just like Klingons and stuff. Yeah, I, I know. But see, here's the, here's the life here's a little life experience, right? Now, I was I was in the military uh, in the '90s during the Clinton and up till 2001. And in that time, I got to I got to uh, participate in the the crap that was going on in Bosnia. And then I made two deployments to uh, to the Middle East and. I got news for you, man. Ninety percent of the people that I ran into over in the Middle East, in Iraq, um, in Saudi Arabia, in uh, Bahrain, in Qatar, uh, in Dubai, all the United Arab Emirates, ninety percent of them wanted us there. They they were welcoming us there. It was it was they they loved us. It was the boisterous ten percent that you heard of all the time that 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 were down with America, kill Americans, and everything else. Ninety percent of them just want to get by, man. They just want to be left alone. Well, uh, Joe, I would worry about the ten percent then. Right. Well, exactly. If right. they're running at you with bayonets, I would worry about the ten percent of the Klingons coming at you. No, I I, I agree. I totally agree. I think it's yeah. uh, I mean, you're talking about a legitimate threat. Don't get me wrong, but they're no different than we are. In the grand scheme of things, you and I talking on this radio broadcast tonight. No, know, I never those, said they they were different. right. Those those ninety percent are still the same, uh, in the same kind matter, of predicament. Though. Oh, of course not. It doesn't not. matter though. Just like us, you know, we could be squashed. What was your like point in saying too. that? Well, the reason why I say that is because there is a ah, there's a there's a a stereotype and a stigma associated with. Which, yeah, we're all stereotyped. Every 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 group is right, stereotyped. but more so than not, because the whole 